Sous vide cooking can be divided into four core techniques. Batch cooking, cook and hold, cook and chill, and retherming. Let's take a look at batch cooking. Certain food products cook at a common temperature, like vegetables for example, which roughly all cook around 84 C. Because I can cook multiple food products in the same bath at once, this allows me to get ahead on prep and reduce my daily prep time. Because foods that are cooked sous vide can be pasteurized as part of the cooking process, it's often that these foods will last days, weeks, or even months under proper refrigeration or freezing without a loss of quality. The next technique is cook and hold. Many foods that have been cooked sous vide can be held at or just below their cooking temperature. Some temperature sensitive foods, such as fish, eggs, or lean proteins, can develop an undesirable texture if held for too long. But there's no question that this method greatly increases your window of perfection above other holding methods, such as steam tables, hot boxes, low temperature ovens, or otherwise. This method of sous vide cooking is widely popular because the food has already achieved a perfect level of doneness, is already at the perfect serving temperature, and then simply needs to be removed from the pouch, seared, plated, and sent out. The next technique is cook and chill. Once food has been cooked sous vide and possibly pasteurized as part of the sous vide cooking process, it may be chilled for serving and reheating later. Because the perfect core temperature has already been reached and the food has been made safe to eat, a diner's food simply need to be heated through so that it is warm and has a crispy, delicious exterior. This method of cooking is widely popular because it reduces pickup times and grants chefs and mixologists perfect portion and inventory control. Last but not least is retherming. Foods do not have to have been cooked sous vide to benefit from the method. Foods that have been cooked using some other technique like poaching, braising, roasting, or otherwise can be vacuum sealed and then gently reheated and held sous vide without fear of scorching or reducing. This not only provides perfect portion control, but also reduces waste because you can simply heat what you need for service. 